Hey guys, Derek Schwinn with Keller Williams Consultants here with your Marysville, Ohio real estate market update for the month of January 2022. Stats and figures to let you know what's going on here in the local market, but more importantly, what's it mean to you? How competitive is it out there? How much can you sell your house for? What's it take to buy one? And about how long is it going to take to get that house in contract once you list it? And how long does that process take? All right, so let's talk about competition. There were 16 active listings on the market on average for the month of January, down 16 from last month and down 6% from last year, um, but more telling, the new listings for that month were down significantly. Compared to last year, list, new listings for the month of January were down 25%, quite significant. Uh, so one of the things you're hearing out there is there's been a lack of inventory uh, for quite some time, and it's not so much that there's a lack of inventory, it's more due to the fact that houses don't sit on the market very long and they're, they're gone. Again, like I've said in the past, the balanced market is about six months of inventory. Um, here uh, in January, we bumped up to 0.6 of a month um, compared to 0.4 from the month before. Um, so things are lasting a little bit longer. Things are sticking around a little bit longer, which means it's good for you as a buyer. Um, as a seller, that means things are slowing down, but it's uh, still pretty extreme. Again, things seem like they're balancing out a little bit. There were 29 houses that sold in the month of January. Uh, down 49, sorry, 42% from last month and down 15% from last year. So again, new listings, solds are down. Um, you know, it's seasonal for the time of year. Usually this time of year, it slows down a decent bit uh, just because it's cold, people are waiting while their kids are in school, all those different reasons. Um, for the spring, makes it a little, e little easier. You can put the landscaping together. First impression when people come to take a look at your house when you're selling it is a big deal. So the landscaping and the first time they walk in the house, in my opinion, is one of the biggest factors. Um, people usually make their decision in the first couple minutes or first couple seconds when they step into your house. Does it smell good? Does it look good? And that all starts with curb appeal. So obviously that's uh, one candidate for why spring is a bigger, busier market. Then we had 39 pending, not much of a change compared to the other numbers. And an interesting change for the first time in a little while that I've seen. We are 1% under asking price um, for closed transactions. So on average, if everything's uh, being asked, or sorry, if the asking price on average is $100,000, things are on average are closing for $99,000, um, where in the past it's been at least a couple percent, recently anyway, over asking price. So that's a change on top of 25% less new listings. Least? Less? 25% fewer new listings in the month of January compared to last year. So year over year, uh, things have slowed down by 25% for the month of January. Okay, so for the money, how much can you sell your house for? On average, asking price is $3.95 for last month, month of January, um, which was a change from year over year, 2.7% from last year. So up a little bit, but uh, not much of a change. And then the sold price, 312000 for the sold price, which, yes, that was 23% higher than last year. So here's a listing that represents the average asking price for a listing here in the Marysville School District. Um, and then here's an example of an average house that's actually sold to give you a representation of what's actually selling, I guess, compared to what's not. Um, so... Then one number that fascinates me is the square foot cost. What's it cost to get one square foot of a house here in Marysville? Now, obviously out here in Marysville, there are some larger lots that we get out, like I am out here in the country with a few acres and that kind of skews these numbers. So that kind of changes here and there. But in general, I find it interesting to see that the price, the average ask, excuse me, the average sold price and the average price per square foot for a sold property um, changes at different rates. So I've always been curious exactly is that bigger houses, more land being thrown in there. So something I look forward to understanding one day. But on average, it took $163 to purchase one square foot of a house here in Marysville School District. All right, so how fast? That's changed a little bit. We were up 20% month over month and down 8% from last year. Um, we are currently at 12 days on the market to become in contract on the property that you're selling. So 12 plus 30 to 45 days for a transaction and you're at two and a half months or if I could add. So you're somewhere between a month and a half and two months um, on average. Could be longer if you're more in that $395,000 asking price. A lot quicker if you're under that $312,000 average sold price. So then like I said, 
we are at 0.6 months of a month inventory, which is up 53% um, from last month and up 20% from last year. Like I said, last year or last month, sorry, the month of December was 0.4. So inventory, the rate of inventory has gone up a little bit. Um, and so if you're not aware, that is basically, um, so like for an example, this, this last month, we had 29, 29, sorry, I can't memorize numbers very well, so I always have to have them written down. So that's why I'm looking over here. So we currently have, well, according to the January numbers, we have six, we had an average of 16 active listings on the market at any, at any given point, and 29 sold in that month. So basically, it would take 0.6 of a month of a month to sell out all of the inventory on the market if no new listings came on the market. Um, just a way of understanding and taking a gauge of where the market's at in terms of how balanced is the market. And again, that's six months is the average. Or six months is a balanced market. So just for giggles, I thought we'd take a look at the most expensive uh, listing on the MLS, at least residential currently, and that is 1759 North Main Street in Urbana. 5.9 million. My birthday's coming up in a few months. Let's take a look. Sometimes people ask me, what, what deals do I know of? I have investors that will text me and say, what deals do we have? In general, if you buy low, you've got plenty of room to make some margin. Um, so as long as the market keeps going, which in real estate, it always does long term. Um, so anyway, that's a whole, nother, a whole nother discussion that there's people out there a lot smarter than me when it comes to investing. So take a look at them if you want. But in terms of my opinion of best value, um, these two properties here next to American Legion, across from the old Kroger Plaza, um, are listed and they are available. Uh, I believe it's uh, somewhere in the four acre range um, for development. Could be lots of stuff. So depending on what you put there, could be quite valuable. So let me know what you think the best deal in Marysville is or the coolest place with the highest price. Here's my opinion. So to sum everything up, the rate of sales has slowed down year over year by 15% and the rate of new listings coming on the market dropped by 25% in Marysville. That's leading towards things slowing down, at least right now. Is that seasonal? Is that uh, gonna be sustained for the rest of the year? We'll see. There are also scheduled increases in rates for mortgages or that will affect mortgages. So that's gonna have an effect. Um, there's lots of information out there um, on what's gonna happen. Um, I never wanna tell you that I'm a magician or a mystic and I can tell the future, but things are gonna be good for a little while. Um, and at the end of the day, real estate's a great investment, um, whether you're investing or you're in need of a personal place. Um, I've got resources if you're interested, if you're a current renter um, and you're looking to make a move into becoming an owner, love to help you out with that. And so I'm happy to send you some resources there. And also like it's been the trend, 23% increase in the average sold price for a home here in the Marysville School District in the last year. At the end of the day, great investment, like I said. So at the end of the day, real estate's usually a good investment. Um, for more numbers and to stay up to date, I've got a link down below if you're on YouTube. Also, I've got a link to my HomeBot account that can help you keep up with the uh, current value or estimated value of your property. You can input your mortgage rate and it'll help you understand better where you're at financially, what your net worth is, some different things. You can put a lot of information in there and it's all free, so take a look at that. And if you wanna stay up to date on good stuff going on here in this community and the market here locally, um, there's also a link for uh, a subscription to the newsletter I'm starting. So anyway, thanks for watching. Hopefully everybody is well. And whether you need to find a house you love, sell one you don't, or just love where you live a little bit more, I'm here for you. So until then, take care.